Moving on, Nigerian dance queen Kafi has introduced a new music hopeful Odua to the Nigerian music scene. The industry legend who has played a pivotal role in the growth of now uh, budging Afrobeat scene hosted a listening party for the American based Borden singer as he went through over a dozen songs. Details in this next report. Check it out. That I've made in the past year. It's a big um, night for American based story, Nigerian music hopeful Hosage Odua, simply known as Odua, as he gets to showcase his first year journey into music in his home country. And I was also on my holiday, hoping you will come up on my way. My body don't hurt so much, girl, I don't know if I can come away for you another day. Come, 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 make I take you far away. Presented by Nigeria's dance queen, Kafi, and backed up by her protégés, Odua performs a number of his original recordings to industry gatekeepers, including legends like Idris Abdukarim and A&R expert, Bankuli, under the bright and clear Lagos sky. And she said, let more, let more, not be hook up. Let more, one, let more, four, before I know we don't do hook up. I know we play the lick up, but no hard for me to sip up. And nine months later, she done the card and be king come. I don't say it, they pay you, but I mean, they pay the hit man. I should plan every aspect of our past and our future. That way, hurt. I may be the suicide in your mouth, but I didn't pray to God, they pay you. This is my me coming home and uh, really appreciating my roots and where I come from. Uh, music has always been a part of my life, although it's never really manifested in the way that it has now. Uh, I kind of started music officially a year ago. So December 2022 was my first time in the studio. Uh, so what you've heard tonight has been my progression from December 2022 to a couple, a few days ago. Uh, so that's kind of been the story so far. Although still pretty much a greenhorn, Odua exhibits impressive talents in music. He sings, raps, and creates melodies with infectious sing-along qualities. I am someone who is from multiple, multiple dimensions, meaning I was born in Lagos, I spent a lot of time in Benin, and then I lived in the United States, so a lot of those elements you can hear in my sound. So what you hear is really just me having been in a lot of different spaces, uh, listen to a lot of different music, um, and that kind of like contributes to what you hear today. I'm a big fan of uh, the Cavemen, I'm a big fan of uh, Two-Face, the Plantation Boys, Idris Abdul Karim who was here tonight. Um, and, and just a lot of these people who I grew up listening to and they've influenced me combined with my time in the United States and listening to hip hop and R&B and all of these things also influence, you know, some of what you've heard tonight. He's being managed by the foremost Nigerian pop dancer and choreographer, Kafi, whose agenda is to create a safe space for young talents to blossom without being pressured into the many juvenile vices associated with the industry. And we also want to build clean people in the industry. Uh, I'm not, no judgment to those out there, but we all know how much of a moral decadence is heavily rooted in the creative industry. We want to like reduce that. We want, we, young men and women can do music without having a certain lifestyle. No offense to those who have it, but there are some of us that don't do it. And uh, most of the time you see people being bullied. Like, if you never smoke Igbo, if you never do this, if you never do that, but like, you don't really need it to, to create what God has given inside of you. So those are, we are trying to create an establishment that is safe. Look at his parents, look at his mom, his sisters are here. Some parents have the resources, they have the children with the talent, but they are afraid. That if I let my child in this industry, it's going to be lost. God literally led me this way. The reason why I said that is Kathy and I met on a flight from Atlanta to Lagos. 
and I did not know who she was, by the way. Uh, so our connection was very genuine. I expressed to her what I was looking to do, and she's, she's proved herself already. She's a legend in her own right. I just didn't know. God would have it that way. Um, but so far, the people who are here today to celebrate this moment with me is a testament to the power that she has. She has really been a golden key to this whole process. And I'm very, very thankful and grateful for her, having her beside me, not as a friend, not just as a friend, but as a business partner, as a manager. Um, I'm very, very excited and thankful and grateful for having her. Um, but the sky's the limit, more to come. With the current attention Nigeria's Afrobeats is getting within the global space, Odua is hopeful to help contribute to the growth of the music genre and further consolidate his dream of making music. Let's do some more, ladies and gentlemen.